In Mozambique's port city of Baira, life is slowly getting back to normal for some. Lorinda Mutizo lost her entire home after powerful cyclone Idai swept through the area. The house was ripped apart. The iron roof was damaged. We were later able to repair it, but before that we were not able to sleep. Every time it rained, we couldn't sleep. Her family are now trying to come up with creative ways to make a living. I'm making these donuts to help support the family so we can eat, because none of us has a job. I used to have a hair salon, that's where I used to make money. But now, with the current situation, it doesn't help. I need to pay for water, food, and look after the children. Cyclone Idai was one of the deadliest storms ever recorded to hit the southern hemisphere. It tore through southern Africa in early March, flattening villages, destroying roads and bridges, and triggering floods and landslides. It was followed by a second one in April, Cyclone Kenneth, which devastated infrastructure in Mozambique's north. Overall, hundreds of people were killed and more than a million were left homeless. Remnants of the damage still remains. Students at this school can only attend class when it's not raining. We have a problem with the classrooms. Most of the infrastructure was destroyed by the cyclone. We don't have iron roofs. That's the biggest challenge. We are working in difficult conditions. Around 46,000 people are still living in camps like this, with no prospect of going back to their old neighborhoods. My dream was always to have a piece of land and a place I could call home, for my family so that we're safe. That's the thing I want the most. I cry a lot. I used to pray to God for a piece of land. And now I thank God a lot for having this space. The UN Secretary General visited Mozambique last week, appealing for $3.2 billion to help with the recovery effort. But so far, it's received less than half of the money requested. Aid groups say without international support, Mozambique could face another problem, a food security crisis. For now, Communities are doing everything they can to rebuild their lives. Rahila Mohammed, Al Jazeera.